I wouldn't um, vote for a candidate for district attorney who thinks that looting should be legal. Uh, but other than that, what red lines should there be on the left-hand side of the political spectrum? I think lots of them. Um, socialized healthcare. So uh, you can have all the longevity research you want, but if you socialize healthcare in the United States, it's, um, it's, it's, it, it, it will be a worldwide disaster. Um, and uh, the quality of the care uh, for you as you get older, but even more so for, you, you know, for, for young people will be horrific in the future. There'll be very few drugs developed. Um, again, 70% of all healthcare innovations happen in the US because we still have a little bit of freedom. Uh, that certainly is one. Um, a, 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 a candidate of the left who would argue for, um, I don't know, net zero by 20, where are we now? 2022, 2030, as, as some suggest, that would be, that would be a, 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 uh, a no-go for me. Um, and, and you could say, well, they can't get that past Congress, but you can't really get past Congress a, a ban on abortion either, not, not really. Um, and they haven't uh, in the past. Republicans have had all, all the positions of power and did not pass a ban on abortion. So the problem is that I agree with your red lines on the right, and I think there are plenty of red lines on the left, and that, that this is why I find it very difficult to vote, because um, both people on the left and on the right tend to cross the red lines pretty quickly and pretty easily. Um, I don't know... Um, Right now, things like support for a cashless society in which the Fed issues a digital currency. That's a red line for me. That means they'll have a record of every single cent that I spend. And the federal government can watch every transaction I make, everything I do. I will have no money that's mine that I can do with what I want, nothing. Um, I mean, there's so many red lines. There's so many of these that are just so unbelievably disastrous. Free speech, obviously. Um, uh, hate speech laws. Where, and that's a right and left one, right? Uh, one of my big oppositions to Trump was that he would have passed a hate speech law like that. Uh, if you hated Trump, right? That it would be focused on him. Uh, but um, but uh, the left wants hate speech laws. Anybody who wants hate speech laws, um, I would, I could not vote for. So, I mean, once you start rolling, the too many of them, and it makes it impossible to vote. And, and this is why um, I, I wish there was a third party in the United States that uh, avoided at least the red line issues, right? That would be cool. And will you post the name of the gubernatorial candidate that you just mentioned in California? Because I'm not familiar with him yet. Um, he is S H E L L E N B E R G E R. Mike Schellenberger. He is a big supporter of Alex's or a big promoter of Alex's work on energy. And I think if you look down the line, you might not, you, you won't agree with a lot of his positions, but none of them are wacky. None of them are so crazy as you'll say he's crossed the red line. Um, at least none that I've seen yet. So, uh, you know, we'll see. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brook Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one of those uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Your Own Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and of course subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.